so what now? I don't know. I, I'm kind of flying blind here. I've, I've never done this before. I mean, the camming part. Me neither. You know, I've never, uh, never been a cami. Well, there's something we have in common. That and breakfast at Tiffany's. What? You know, deep blue something. And I said, what about breakfast at Tiffany's? She I never saw it. How old are you? That's rude. I mean, how would you feel if I asked you how old you were? I'm 35. Well, oh, okay then. Um, I'm 30. And you don't know about Deep Blue Something. Deep Blue what? Deep Blue Something. It's the name of the band. Not much of a name. It's like they gave up halfway through. It'd be like calling your country the United States of something or the people's something of China. What about you? What about me? Your screen name, it's Strange Bedfellow. Is that some sort of like kink dog whistle or something? Or I mean, not that I'm a prude, I'm just, how strange are we talking? What? No, I, I don't have a dog kink. I'm not even into feet. But everybody always goes feet first. It's, um, it's Shakespeare. I was an English major. Oh. It's from The Tempest. This dude is on a desert island. He's shipwrecked, and then he sees another storm is coming in, and the only shelter he can find is this, like, dead fish thing. Uh, and so as he's going under it, he says, uh, misery acquaints a man with strange bedfellows. And your idea of a sexy screen name is a Shakespeare quote that has misery and dead fish in it. I mean, I wasn't trying to be sexy. I'm not selling myself on here. I'm not trying to sell myself. What? You said you're not trying to sell yourself on here. I'm not selling myself. I'm selling my image. You know? Like, if you buy a poster of Audrey Hepburn, you're not buying Audrey Hepburn. What does Audrey Hepburn have to do with this? And what is wrong with people selling themselves? Nothing, obviously, or I wouldn't be here. Um, it's not obvious, actually. For all I know, that's how you get off. It's some, like, intellectual superiority complex. You sign on with some erudite fucking screen name and then man's playing Shakespeare quotes to girls while they take their clothes off. Or worse, you can only get off if you have the moral high ground? Is that it? You're, like, gloating while I show you my tits? Are you a Hasid or, like, Catholic? Oh my god, are you a Scientologist? <laughs> a Scientologist? Yeah, are you gonna ask me if I'm stressed out? Well, newsflash, yeah, I'm fucking stressed out. I have a landlord breathing down my neck about rent and I have credit card bills that will not stop. So I've resorted to doing this and my first client is a fucking elitist, holier than thou pervert. All I'm saying is that I don't need to sell my, I don't need, to ha attract customers. I'm not promoting a, a product or, or, or a brand, you know? I'm the pathetic douche who's paying a stranger to make me feel special while I diddle myself. No, I'm not a Scientologist. And uh, as for elitist, uh, that, madam, is the pot calling the kettle a vessel of ebony-hued persuasion. How am I elitist? Erudite. All right, I am just here to make money. Well, I'm here to get off. Well, there's a whole internet out there, so why don't you go watch some porn? Ugh, I can't. What? Nothing. Never mind. Forget it. Have a nice life, Lucy. Who's Lucy? You are. Aren't you Lucy Dorable? It's Lucha Dorable. The mask. Oh. Well, that makes more sense. Sorry, I don't speak Spanish. And sorry I didn't sign up for Rosetta Stone day one of quarantine. You know, sorry, I'm not gonna come out of this with King Lear. It's Shakespeare. I know who wrote King Lear. I'm an actor. I thought you were a comedian. I am. I am also a bartender and a cam girl and quite possibly a Mexican wrestler. I contain multitudes. Well, sorry for letting you down. How could you let me down? I don't even know you. Yeah, and you're not really giving me a chance to know you, are you? You make all these assumptions. You assume that I've got like a dog kink. You assume that I think I'm better than you. 
You know, if you come on here expecting to be judged, you're only going to hear judgment. Oh, my. Do not lecture me on projection. I get enough of that shit from my sister, we, and we, I do not. Why are we fighting? What? Like, you just said it yourself. We don't even know each other, so how did we get here? Letting the days go by? What? Nothing. Never mind. Um, what, are you, what are you talking about? I mean, we haven't even known each other five minutes, and we're at each other's throat. Like, I'm sorry I offended you. I didn't mean to. Thank you. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, too. I, I just was getting defensive. I don't know. I, you're not a pervert. I mean, you don't seem like a pervert. <laughs> well, give me time. You don't know. I could be one, too. I just, wow. I got really mad. I, I don't know. I, I guess I've kind of just been really mad a lot lately. That's my secret, Cap. Sorry. It's, are all your clients as dorky as I am? I told you, you're my first one, so. Oh, I uh, kind of assumed that was a lie. I don't lie. Why can't you watch porn? I can. Like, I don't go all, doesn't look like anything to me. Um, I, I, I could, but, like, it just, it makes me feel gross. Like, you can't even browse without seeing a bunch of, like, incest clips. You think we would put those in their own little category or at the very least off the front page. But even the stuff that doesn't make me feel gross makes me feel, I don't know, guilty. But this doesn't? Oh, no, it does. But I guess in my mind, it's, like, less exploitive. Like, I know you're not tricked into being here. You're here of your own volition. How do you know that? I guess I don't. Fuck. Oh my gosh. I'm kidding. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I really should not joke about that. <laughs> You're just such an easy Mark. My name isn't Mark. Um, actually, my name is... It's, uh, um, let's, let's not uh, do that. As far as I'm concerned, your name is Strange. Or I can call you Betty and you can call me Al. Where are you getting Betty? It's Paul Simon. H have you heard any song before? Anyway, uh, anyway. <laughs> I, am, I am here because I want to be. You don't lie. I don't. I am impeccable with my word. Or at least I try to be. Try not. Do or do not. There is no try. Wow. I know. <laughs> I think, I think it's okay that we are angry. Everything is just so... Fucked up? <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like we've suddenly managed to politicize a plague. Like, you go outside and you can tell a person's party based on whether or not they're wearing a mask. No offense. Like, half the country has gone all Overlook Hotel, and the other half is having orgies on the beach. Ugh, and I do not understand the attraction to sex on the beach. It's like, I get so much sand in my nooks and crannies, I could make myself a pearl necklace. Anyway. But what is pissing you off, though? Uh, that is... That's way too broad. That's like... That's like hating climate change or, like, hippies. Oh, but I do hate hippies. Like, don't <laughs> tell me your name is Snow. It says Nicole on your Sapphire for food card. Avoiding question. Mm, now who's therapizing? Seriously, what is specifically pissing you off? Like, what's getting in your nooks and crannies? Okay, um... How about this? How people I don't give a shit about, haven't thought about in years, are suddenly calling me up and wanting to talk for like an hour. Yes! I answer the phone, because when was the last time somebody called you and it wasn't an emergency? And I pick up expecting to hear like, you know, my grandma died. And instead it's just no like, hi, how are you? And like, fucking, you know how I am. I'm terrible. Same as you. 
But <laughs> worse than that are the days when nobody calls and I am just so crushingly, utterly alone. But enough about me. Uh, what's pissing you off? Nothing. I'm easy like Sunday morning. Avoiding question. I mean, yeah, I, I think it's that. I think it's feeling alone without being alone. Like, I have a roommate, or two, actually. They're a couple. And that means they're just nesting like all over the living room. And my sister stops by, checks in like almost every day, but she has her husband and you know, everyone has their person. And I just feel like what this has done is just highlight my lack of person. It's like, I didn't, it's like, I didn't know I was hungry. And then I smelled someone cooking barbecue. And like that bit about my sister and the dating app thing, like that's true. Although recently she's laid off a bit in light of flattening the curve, but I don't know. Like now that I can't meet someone, I, I kind of wish that I had, you know, I mean, I probably wouldn't have met the one, but at least I would have had someone. Yeah. I know what you mean. And you know what else? pisses me off that I have to do this I don't want to be selling my body I hate my body why do you think I became a comedian and and I also hate the fact that this new wave of feminism is like you're not towing the line unless you're fucking and sucking or something like since when is doggy style like a radical position to take <laughs> I don't know that's that's feminism though and then when does Paltrow like start selling candles online that smell like her vagina for $75 and people are like, oh, that's feminism. And they sell out in a fucking day. And I'm trying to track this back because wave one of feminism was like, fuck this. We want the vote. Yeah. Okay. Wave two of feminism was like, screw this. We want to get paid as much as men. Yes. Wave three of feminism is like, F this, I'm going to impress upon you how, like, liberated I am by telling you how much I like my vibrator. It's just like, yeah, wow, you've come a long way, baby. <laughs> that's good. Is that one of your bits? No, that's just, like, how I feel. Maybe you should make it one. Um, can I make a confession? Okay, but I'm not Catholic. <laughs> okay, I'm not a comedian. So, you lied. No, I mean, technically, no. I, I do comedy, but, like, I've only ever done open mics. Like, like, free shows. So, you know, I've never been paid to do it. I was actually about to. <laughs> like, my first paid gig was going to be St. Patrick's Day. And then shelter in place happened. So? So I, I'm not a professional. I haven't been paid to do it. So who says you have to be paid to be what you are? If you're a comedian, then you're a comedian. Nobody pays me to be a colossal dork, but that doesn't mean I'm not one. <laughs> Thanks. People who hate targeted ads. What? That's another one of mine. People who hate targeted ads. Like, I love them. Sure, your phone is reading your texts and your emails, but like, what am I supposed to do? Just wander around the internet until I find out that they make dog collars that glow in the dark with the letters of the one ring? <laughs> what, you have a dog? No, I'm into some really kinky shit. <laughs> I, I really like talking to you. I really like talking to you too. And I said, well, that's one thing we got. All right. I am not going to tell you my name. And do not be mad if you get kidnapped by the Joker. But 